I'd like to introduce Eric Slavens. Eric was previously a partner in the assurance practice of Price Waterhouse Coopers, where he was most recently the national IPO services leader. After re retiring from Price Waterhouse Coopers in 2005, Eric moved on to act as an independent director and business consultant. He has served the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Ontario in various forms and has also sat on several charitable boards and committees. Eric is now going to provide us with a charitable case study. Eric? Thank you. Um, good morning. Get organized. Good morning. I have been asked to take a few minutes to discuss the evolution of my professional practice and the role that the Jewish Foundation of Greater Toronto can play over time. For over 35 years, I practiced as a professional chartered accountant. I loved my work and had a very gratifying career acting as an auditor, accountant, and advisor for many amazing clients. But I also wanted new challenges. I took early retirement from PricewaterhouseCoopers to act as an independent director on public and private company boards. I also continued to act as an advisor to a limited number of families, most of whom I have worked with for many years. And over the years, I've also worked with many of you. There is one specific, um, very practical planning aspect of my practice that I'd like to share with you. As an advisor, I often recommended that my clients establish a private family foundation, particularly when they had a transaction that generated significant taxable income. I'm sure that you all know the benefits of such planning. These people usually had a business office with an accounting staff that could easily handle all the administration of the foundation, processing the checks, chasing down charitable receipts, preparing the regulatory filings, working with the lawyers and accountants, et cetera. All good, but circumstances change over time. As they aged, my clients wound down or sold their active businesses. Many of these people had built up significant wealth, but not of the size that they had their own professionally managed family office. I would estimate that the value of the assets in their foundations was in the range of five to $15 million. The next generation wanted to be involved in the decisions around the charitable giving but often seem to have neither the interest nor the aptitude to manage the investment portfolio or administer the foundation itself. And to be frank, my clients sometimes had concerns about the types of charities that their children or grandchildren might wish to support in the future. I served as a director of the Jewish Foundation for a number of years. I know the people, and I'm very familiar with its operations and its governance framework. A win-win solution became clear to me. I suggested to my clients that they consider rolling their private family foundation into the Jewish foundation. At first, there was a natural hesitation around change. And I would say that it was mostly around their concern about a loss of control. I took the time to clearly explain the benefits of such a move and arranged a meeting with the appropriate family members and Janice Benatar. All of the family soon came to understand that they could get the benefits of their existing private family foundation without the hassle. They would receive excellent long-term investment returns, cost-effective administration, community leadership oversight, clear reporting, and meetings as required. But most important, by thoughtfully drafting the donor-advised funds, there would be a continuity of giving in line with family values, and the name of the family would continue to be recognized on every donation. The process proceeded very smoothly from there. 
The foundation staff are well trained to work with the family and their advisors to complete the mechanics of the rollover without any problems. They understand that every family is different and dealing with change is sometimes a challenge. They listen carefully and make suggestions based on best practices. The specifics of the various types of donor funds are clearly explained and the defining documents for each fund are thoughtfully drawn up. They are prepared to adjust timing or other factors throughout the process as necessary. It really is a seamless transition. So in closing, I suggest that you consider a rollover of your client's private family foundations into the Jewish Foundation of Greater Toronto, but only when you feel that the time is right. Thank you.